hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can see from the title of this video this is not um this is not such a fun video but i just wanted to do something to get my mind off things and i felt like this video would be perfect for that and um so if you guys want to see how i achieved this look and just hear, hear my thoughts on how sasa classes inspired me and a lot of other people make sure to continue watching this video and and just leave your comments and thoughts on whatever like just leave whatever you might want to say and um yeah so first of all let me just say this is not the type of first video i wanted to have out there i know i haven't posted anything this year but i guess this is gonna be my first video so we just have to accept that we are not always gonna have everything perfect so I apologize for bringing this video as the first one of the year so just to say so just to say a few things about uh, the music industry in Botswana not necessarily the music industry but the entertainment industry I know we've been hit a lot by uh, COVID and now people are dying as well so it's just like where are we gonna go as a country in like terms of entertainment uh because because we are losing a lot of people who inspire a lot of youngsters out there so i just don't understand honestly where like what's happening and like i'm i have i have been trying to make sense of it all but i'm just like anyway uh so um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the rest of the video uh, like how I achieved this look and everything so stay tuned for that I did change into a dress but I might change it again because I'm not sure if I like how it's looking on me I feel like I lost some weight and it's not really like as tight as I would like it to be on me so but I will insert a picture of whatever I wear um, somewhere on the screen if you haven't subscribed yet please do so right now i'm gonna give you a chance to do so and uh like this video and make sure you leave a comment at the end and with that being said enjoy the rest of the video and as you can see my face there is a lot of dark spots and uh, there's a video coming up on that because I have been suffering from a lot of acne and I'm currently undergoing treatment and a video or a few videos about that are coming soon so stay tuned for those I mean I, I have recorded them most like I have recorded two of them and I just didn't uh, want and I just have and I just didn't have the confidence to upload them but I guess this is a sign this is a sign for me to put them out there anyway so as you can tell from the title of the video I'm gonna be doing a look inspired by Sasa class and why I'm doing this today is because about an hour ago I found out she passed away and I just feel like a lot of young Botswana creatives are like not young Botswana necessarily but uh, enter the entertainment industry in Botswana is losing a lot of people and honestly I am like as most of you may know I'm in the US all by myself and I don't really have anybody to discuss these things with so I feel like doing a video like this somehow helps me deal with somehow helps me deal with things so i'm just trying to process everything in my mind and i feel like like i like doing makeup so it's really gonna help me try to make sense of things if that if that even makes sense i remember when zero passed away i did a makeup for my uh i did a makeup video for my instagram and it somehow helped me deal with the whole situation because she was a youtuber i watched and she was quite an inspiration to me as an aspiring Botswana youtuber and all that so doing that video kind of helped me in a way so i feel like doing this is gonna help me as well 
anyway i'm gonna stop talking right now and get and uh get started anyway i'm gonna go in with uh <laughs> i'm gonna go in with this product which is uh part of my treatment um it helps get rid of dark spots and my mirror is down here so that's why i'm gonna be looking down here a lot so as i was saying Botswana is currently like the Botswana music industry is not really huge and to lose uh to lose talented uh people like sasa class is really like you just begin to wonder where Arizona is going in terms of entertainment and all that um so now i'm going in with the serum right here uh because i'm going out and this is supposed to help with moisture I'm using it for the first time with makeup, so I hope it doesn't ruin things. I hope it works well with my makeup. I personally didn't know Sasa Class, but she was an inspiration to me. She is she was a great rapper and she was a great rapper and she like I just I just enjoyed her presence on social media. Um I'm getting texts I love I just enjoyed seeing her on social media because she is somebody she was somebody who actually didn't care about what other people thought of her and that's something I'm aspiring to like that's the level I'm aspiring to get at I I just have this thing of oh what will these people say about this and I just tend to shy away from who I am um in fear of what people will say so now i'm gonna use this pack this palette i'm gonna go in with one of one of these three shades here uh to cover my dark spots i saw kiki palmer i saw kiki palmer doing this and it actually helped like uh her makeup was it actually helped uh, get rid of the dark spots in her makeup look so I'm gonna try it as well <laughs> maybe I'm applying too much but we will see how it goes I hope this works because I'm actually going out with my friends in two hours and I do not have time to go over and do a makeup look again and I would really like to take some nice pictures for Instagram today so also pardon my look i just woke up like i like i said i just found out the news about an hour ago and i've been in bed just trying to understand what's happening and why it's happening and i obviously didn't come to any conclusions with regards to that but i just woke up and decided i'm gonna do a video so pardon the hair I'm even just wearing a sports bra so I really didn't prepare for this video okay I feel like I got most of this I look crazy but that's about to change in a minute I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline foundation I took the darker one I was supposed to go in with this one so I'm just gonna mix them to get to my actual shade to get to something that's closer to my actual shade now I feel like I have way too much foundation on my face but let's see how it all blends out okay this is not bad I feel like it does make me look a bit darker though but it's way better than it making me feel way lighter than I actually am because I've used foundation that makes me look lighter and it just isn't it I don't know though it, make, it makes me look uh, 
different especially with the red on the eyeshadow but let me give it a chance I'm just going to continue blending it out and hopefully find a way to <laughs> to restore this maybe I should not have tried the Kiki Palmer thing because wow okay I've completely blended out the foundation and I think I look way too dark for my actual shade for my actual shade so I'm gonna try and use my highlighter. This is the Bond This Way highlighter. It is, I used this over the winter and it's winter right now. But I have, I still have the complexion from back home. So I'm just gonna use this. It has, it has yellow undertones. So it's going to help restore my skin. I hope back to, back to like how I, look almost okay it's doing the trick and i actually like how everything is blending in together so sasa was a very young lady she's well she was 27 and i feel like 27 is just a young age for somebody like it's just way too young for somebody to be passing away especially somebody with such potential i mean not I'm, and I, I'm not trying to say people without potential I mean we do all have potential but I'm not trying to say people who like don't have you know something going on for them should die but I do feel like she she's one of the people who honestly I feel like should have been given some more time because her influence on young people she was an she was an inspiration i believe to a, to a lot of people even me included so when the when things like this these happen what happens to all of us you know who who sourced inspiration from her anyway i'm now gonna go in with a uh, blush I'm using my Laura Jella blush and I am going to go for a bold look like she was I'm like as I mentioned before but I'm not going to go like crazy crazy because I still want to be like myself okay the <laughs> The blush is not doing much because because of the eyeshadow I placed under my makeup first, I believe. So I guess we just gotta have to go without pink cheeks. But that's okay. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I don't even have anything for that here, so I'm just gonna comb this out and shape them into. A desired shape and I'm too lazy to go fetch the thing that I normally use for my eyebrows so I'm just gonna use this right here hopefully it does the trick without giving me problems it's actually not doing a bad job and I think it might even be big even be better than my, the thing I normally use I honestly need to have my eyebrows shaped because right now I'm just like trying to get these hairs in order but <sighs> and funny thing is I've been thinking a lot about death for the past two weeks or so I remember the other day I was craving to watch Dickinson and it is death is one of the popular things themes in it and I actually went and watched it for the second time and I don't know there's just something that preoccupied me about like darkness and death I don't know how to put it 
and just hearing about this whenever i have death preoccupying my mind i there's always some bad news that comes my way i mean it's not necessarily always somebody dying but somehow there's just something that goes on and besides sasa class's death i there is something um kind of dealing with right now and it's not anybody passing or anything like that but just loss in general and i feel like i don't know if somehow um i don't know i don't believe in these things but i somehow feel like i feel it when something bad is about to happen call it female intuition or whatever but i just have this feeling <sighs> So now that I'm done with uh, my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with my Dominique Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow. I really wanna do something bold, but I don't want to like overdo it. So maybe I'm just gonna go with, with this metallic black. I normally shy away from using different colors, but today, it's one of those days where I just want to try to be, you know, as spontaneous as I can be. I'm going in first with Luna Eclipse as my base. And I'm not applying a whole lot of it because I don't want it clashing with the black. Okay, that should do it. Coming back to the topic of death, do you guys ever feel like you can feel when something bad is about to happen? Even if it's not death, just something, you know, something that brings discomfort to you or... Uh, I don't even know how to put it. I feel like I'm talking a lot. This video is already at 27 minutes and I haven't even done anything. So I'm going to try to be as fast as I can. Bear with me. This black is nice. Really, really nice. I have at the back of my mind this thought where I'm like, maybe people are just messing around and she is still alive. But why would people joke about death, honestly? And uh, there are some official sites that i looked at that did confirm the death but i somehow still hope that it's not true even though i know it is true okay i feel like this is bold but not too much right okay okay so i'm just going to clean the edges And I always forget to apply powder. Anyway, I'm gonna do it. Even though I have tried to apply, even though I have tried to apply blush, I mean it's not there. I can't see it, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this powder, and hopefully it doesn't ruin any parts of my makeup. And I am so glad that the serum performed quite well with the rest of the products because I honestly do not have the time to go back and correct things like that. I feel like this looks so nice. For some reason I look like a different person. This is really nice. And even my hair, I feel like it's not even that bad. When I started filming, I was like, why am I going on camera with this type of hair but I actually like it I mean I've messed it up here a bit with products but I will clean that up when I wear when I get dressed okay this is not bad at all 
now I'm gonna go and do highlighter and I'm using this Tarte highlighter right here and I don't really use a whole lot of highlight but a whole lot of highlighter because I don't I'm still trying to learn how to use highlighter so I go as minimal as possible just to avoid making myself look crazy see what I mean this line is not even straight but who cares should I even have pulled it all the way up there let me just try to finesse my way around this not too bad should I even apply this before I do my lipstick or am I playing myself this video is at 37 minutes and I'm only going to have like an 8 to 10 minutes video or so ah. okay I feel like that's enough with highlighter for the lips I'm gonna go with one of these um, I will go in with Leo I'm going with a matte lipstick because uh, I'm gonna be wearing a mask and I hate it when makeup transfers to my mask especially lipstick because it's hard to take off I mean I'm gonna be wearing a disposable mask but I still don't want to see red on my mask every time I take it off I'm liking this so far but I really want some blush on my cheeks so I'm gonna go and try a different blush we will see how that goes so I have decided to go and get my I've decided to go and get my clinic blush my old and favorite blush and I'm gonna be using a dense brush just because I feel like it's gonna be able to scoop up a lot see what I mean I can immediately see the color I hope it's visible on camera okay that is all guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um, make sure to like subscribe leave a comment as well as hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and all I can say is just uh, be there for the people you care about while you still have the chance because you never know what tomorrow holds and it would be better for the people you like you for the people you appreciate in your life to know that you care about them now instead of waiting for tomorrow which is never guaranteed anyway guys I hope you have a nice day despite the circumstances um, and and may her soul rest in peace and everybody else who was involved in the accident so yeah I will see you guys in my next video.